What's happening? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, what in the... What's going on everybody? It's Inferno here with another Pokemon Uranium episode. Now, last time we left off, we beat the uh, gym leaders, right? And we're now with our... Oh, hey! Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow, we're completely done with the gym challenge. Um, that's a shock for me too, right? We've actually caught ourselves a Pokemon in this area. A little nuclear glass slug. Uh, glass slug, I believe. We are currently on the nuclear plant Omnicron. Uh, as you guys can probably guess, there's probably going to be an explosion. So we're here to maybe stop it. No, my partner Pokemon fainted. Oh, now I'm defenseless. Help Inferno, save me. Okay, so now... Tans. A... a... a tra oh. What? I thought it was Tanskir. A wild s -Hotin and... Chupacho. Okay. Clark and Marvin. Okay, s -Hotin is a... nuclear flying type. So, we could land a Thunder Punch. And Marvin can land a psychic on the Chupacho, seeing as how it's a nu e either nuclear poison or nuclear fighting. Either way, it's four times effective. Marvin lands super strong psychic against Chupacho. That's gone. Good. Good. We're good. Asso Tensainted. Great. First batch of nuclear Pokemon out. Phew, thanks for not thought I was a gunner. I've got to get my Pokemon healed. Good luck out there. Cool. Uh, wh wh why don't you do that right now? Okay, uh, anyone else? You. That's a Gyarados. Hey, Inferno, these nuclear freaks of nature are no match for my Pokemon. Hey, here comes two of them now. How about you and me team up and show them what we're made of? Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We got ourselves a partner. It's two. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ, wild Gyarados and Tuba Reel. Hey, Theo! Thanks for being here. Means a lot. Gyarados landed and Intimidate, that kinda sucks. Let's Thunder Punch the Gyarados. Hey, Aqua Tail, that's good. Not very effective. Not bad. Hey! That's pretty good. Okay, Super Potion on Clark, get him almost all the way up. Nuclear Slash. Okay. Oh, ooh, that Splendifowl, I want to say, is dead. Because, what, normal flying type? Yeah. Critical hit, too. Ouch. Okay, it, you... Ah, uh, you've got a nuclear Pokemon of your own. Right, I forgot about that. I'm gonna Giga Drain it. Good going, Inferno. You and me make a good team, don't you think? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Anyone else? I don't want to step into the grass too much, but I guess I'm gonna have to here. Dang. Okay. Back! Back! Taste the steel of my blade! Hey you! Mind giving me a help over here? They're too tough for me to handle alone. Yeah, sure. That's what? That looks like a, uh, Transkir? A Taskir? Nope, that's not. That's Tropheint. Tropheint? That's the evolution of Kostra, isn't it? It's dead! That's pretty good. Tropine fainted. Clark and Marvin, a little bit of experience. Ha! Kara before my ninja technique. Ninja cheerleading. Way to go, Inferno. You're the best. Oh, thank you. Over here, is there someone? Yep, there's someone over here. Oh, there's two someones. My love, you must remain resolute. We shall defeat this evil with the power of the gods. My husband has grown weary, and yet these Pokemon do this up. We may be avatars, but we are also mere mortals. Inferno, please help us face this threat. Alright, cool. Holy cow. Transkir. And a Luchabra. Hey, these are great Pokemon to send out. Clark? Drain Punch the Tanskir. It's either nuclear normal or nuclear dark. Either way, four times effective. Uh, Luchabra, Marvin, Psychic, same logic against it. And it's dead. Yes! one KO both of you guys. You guys are great. You know, I was very worried. I believe I can go on, my love. The gods lend us their strength. You know, I was very worried last episode. 
because nuclear types are a very powerful glass cannon and they, they're super effective against literally everything except steel. Oh jeez. Inferno, thank Arceus you're here. These nuclear Pokemon are resilient or re relentless. Whatever it takes, we have to keep them from getting inside. Uh, hey, oh, yikes, big yikes. That's strange, they've started attacking. I've never seen them act like this before. What's happening? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, what in the... What was that? Something inside the plant? But how? I don't like this. I have a bad feeling about this. Put that in. Inferno, get down! Oh crap, the... What? It's gone. The uranium is gone. Where is it? You! Stop right where you are! That's the... Uh, that's the... That's the Pokemon I've got on the blue freaking layout! As chief of the Tandor Rangers, I order you to freeze. Identify yourself or we'll attack. We are Kyuri. We are Uranium. Stand aside or face oblivion. You. You're the one that's been attacking the power plants. You, you're under arrest. Kyuri, perhaps you must hurt us. Now you shall suffer. Uranium, use half life. Yeah. She has radiation poisoning, we have to get her out of here! You weak, pathetic fools, can you not see the power we control? There is no way you can hope to win. Surrender, or be obliterated. The nuclear Pokemon, that, is that thing giving them commands? They've got us surrounded, we can't escape! All that opposes us will be raised to the ground. Now heed our demands, or else all of you shall perish. Oh, I can't. Let my rangers die. What is it that you want? We require more enriched uranium fuel. Is that why you attack the power plants? To steal the nuclear fuel? Yes. Our power far exceeds any that would oppose us. We will crush them without mercy. You. You've destroyed the environment and endangered the lives of people and Pokemon. You won't get away with this. I'll take you down by myself if I have to. <laughs> How amusing. It isn't even a trainer, and yet it would oppose us. Such arrogance. For this, it will be annihilated in an instant. Uranium, atomic punch. Holy crap. Oh no, that thing's dead. Inferno, if I don't make it, you have to stop this. Curie. No matter what, we will not let them defeat us. Cameron, stand down, Curie. This ends now. You, impossible. We thought we killed you. You thought wrong. Now you are too late. I had the uranium removed from this power plant. You'll never find it. I have been watching you in secret. I figured out your weakness. Without fuel, you have no power. Gyaru. Yeah. This was all a trap for you, and you walked right into it. Now you will pay for your crimes against Tandor. I can't believe it. Cameron? He was the one who gave us the tip? Dad? Dad is alive? You might have the power of a legendary Pokemon on your side, but that doesn't mean you will win. I have been watching you. I know your limits. When I defeat Uranus, this it will go dormant. After that, you'll be powerless. <laughs> powerless, are we? You forget, we have an infinite army of nuclear Pokemon at our beck and call. You stand no chance against all of us. Fear insolence, following us, frustrating our plans. You will be destroyed. Dad's in trouble. Come on, Inferno, we gotta help him. Theo, wait! Dad, we're here to help you. I'm not gonna let you disappear on me again. Theo? What are you doing here? It's too dangerous. You have to leave. Kiri won't hesitate to kill you. <laughs> This boy, is he important to you? Yes, his pain will cause you great suffering. Therefore, we will kill him right before your eyes. No, Theo! Hmm. Sentimental fool. You have now paid the price. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Should you try and cross us again, 
an agonizing death awaits you. The uranium fuel we seek is gone. No matter. We shall locate it where, wherever it lies. This is but a minor setback. Soon, we will have what we need, and when we do, all of you fools shall pay. Uranium! Quantum Leap! Dad, you saved me. I... That attack was going to kill me, but you... You jumped in at the last second. Dad, I finally found out you're alive and... <laughs> See, you know, is he alive? He's alive! Quick, we have to get him to a hospital! You... Cameron's Yadigaryu. They are said to be among the swiftest flyers in Tandor. Will you help us take him to safety? Quickly, Rangers, there's no time to waste. We have to get to the. <coughs> uh. Kellen, you're hurt. I'll be fine. Get to the Rangers HQ in Beale Beach City. We have to move fast. Cameron's condition is critical. Now, quickly. We have to go. My dad's life is on line. Inferno, your dad didn't look so good either. I think he was affected by radiation. I don't really know what happened or who that scary person and that weird Pokemon were. But we're gonna find out. Yeah, we should definitely follow them to Beach City. I'm sure the Rangers can explain some more about this scary person. You took your both fly there, right? Oh wait, don't tell me. I forgot to give you both the fly HM. Well, this is awkward. You mean you had it this entire time? Jeez, I had to walk and surf everywhere I went. You must be losing it in your old age, Pops. Okay, okay. I get it. Sheesh, I'm not that old. Here we go, both of you. Oh, finally we have fly. Finally, I can move around the place quickly. Sweet! I'll teach this to my Pokemon in Beale Be Be Beach City, quick as a thunderbolt. Zap! Oh, there he goes, in a flash. He always has so much energy, but his father is alive, so I can't fault him for feeling excited. Who would have expected to see Cameron again after all this time? And why was he hiding in the first place? This whole thing is very strange. Well, Inferno, I'll be happy to give you a lift to be able to my page. I think the Rangers can handle the rest of the new group of one here. All things considered, we managed to prevent another meltdown, so this part of Tender should be safe for now. We should hurry to headquarters. Hop on, Inferno. Oh, great. Oh, Inferno, Professor, you're just in time. Kaylin and Cameron are upstairs in the intensive care unit. Kaylin specifically asked for you both. I think you ought to see him. Hey, Inferno, if you're here for Kaylin and Cameron, they're upstairs in the ICU. Both are alive, though. Cam's in bad shape. It's still a miracle he survived. As for us, we're standby awaiting on orders from the chief. I think he wants to go after this Curie person. Or is this the way? I'm gonna go... What? What is this? So the ones that provided us with the tip off about the attack was Cameron. I wonder why he acted anonymously, or why he went and led everyone to think he was dead. I didn't think we'll get an explanation until he wakes up. Professor Cypress! Oh, Ernest, I thought you I might see you here. Good to see you, Lily. How goes the research? It's going well. We're making lots of progress on the hazard suit. The new nuclear-resistant capture stiders are coming along well too, though they are more difficult to use than ordinary capture stiders. As for developing a cure for nuclear Pokemon, your notes have been very helpful. I'm happy to oblige, Inferno. Let me t tell you about what we discovered about the nuclear type. So, you know how evolutionary stones work, yes? Every stone em emits a specific frequency of electromagnetic radiation. Pokemon that can evolve will do so when they are exposed to a concentrated dose of that type of radiation. Every element seems to be associated with a particular frequency. Now, nuclear radiation that's at a much higher frequency. So what happens is, getting exposed to nuclear radiation triggers a partial evolution of the Pokemon. Their species doesn't change, but their coloration moves and types do. And since their bodies weren't equipped to handle that kind of evolution, they kind of go a bit crazy. So that's why they're savage. But I think through therapy and treatment, we can cure them. Not completely, they'll still have their color change, but they won't do this so bad or attack you. Brilliant work is always earnest. Thanks, Lily, I try. This is an emergency room. You aren't authorized. Oh, it's Inferno and Professor Bamboo. Good timing, both of you. Kellen is awake and has been asking for you. Please, follow me. Oh, look at that. Uh, Inferno? Is that you? And Theo, and Professor Bamboo, too. 
I'm glad you're all here. We came as quickly as we could. How are you feeling, Kellen? I'm fine. My exposure wasn't all that bad. <laughs> Please, try not to overexert yourself. Some radioactive air has entered your lungs. You need to keep your heart rate down. How can I remain calm when citizens and Pokemon are in danger? <coughs> Listen, now that we know some more about what we are up against, I've come up with a plan. I'm now positive that this Curie person is the cause of all the meltdowns. If we can take down Curie, then the power plants will be safe and we can begin restoration. Of course, that requires us to find where Curie is hiding. Fortunately, Karen has been helpful on that part. Dad? But he's been out cold ever since he... It seems Cam expected something like this might happen. When we brought him in, we found these documents on the inside of his jacket. He appears to have been gathering information on Curie and Uranium for some quite some time. Also included was this letter. To Kellen and the Rangers of Tandor, you know me as Cameron Kane, engineer, private contractor, and father. However, that is not the truth about who I am. My real name is Cameron Stormbreaker. Ooh, what a what a badass name. I am an agent of Interpol. Eleven years ago, I returned to Tandor to investigate reports of dangerous and illegal experiments on Pokemon. In the process of my undercover investigation, I was discovered, and the criminal, criminal covered their tracks and fled. People died as a result. It has been my single greatest regret. After my failure, Interpol released me into an early retirement, but I never forgot what I had discovered on that island. Dad was a secret agent? Whoa, that's awesome! He was always a reserved sort of guy. Just showed up in town one day after the accident with his kid. He never really talked about who he was or where he came from. So Cam knew more about the explosion from 10 years ago. That's the one where Lucille lost her life. Why did he not tell me? There's more to the letter. Another fate to black. Even though I was retired, I would not rest until these criminals were brought to justice. I knew that proof was out there. So I became a contractor on the new power plant Epsilon. U using the construction of the new plant as a cover, I plan to investigate the site of the ruined plant to prove that what happened there was no accident. Instead, I found something else, something far more sinister. Blueprints and diagrams that detailed the creation of an artificial Pokemon. I was on the verge of having everything I needed to send a report in the in to Interval when the unthinkable happened. A huge detonation shook the island. That was when I knew this was far from over. I narrowly escaped the explosion on the back of Yaragaryu. From high in the sky, that's when I saw them. A lone figure emerged from the wreckage of the ruined plant, accompanied by a Pokemon. I recognized the mask that the figure was wearing from the diagrams I had seen. The Curie Interface. A high-tech device that was made in the labs. Its purpose appears to be some type of mental relay. It transmits the wearer's thoughts and commands to the Pokemon, Uranium. A man-made Pokemon, built to be a source of unlimited energy. At its full potential, it has the power to split atoms. However, in order to reach that potential, it needs to consume a large amount of nuclear fuel. To facilitate this, it has the ability to sense radioactivity, a Geiger sense. I believe Uranium was created on that island, and has remained there for years, deep in slumber. It was the arrival of new uranium fuel on the island that sparked its reawakening, but Uranium was not alone. This person, I have no idea who they are, or what their goals might be. They are in possession of the Curie interface, and seems to be Uranium's trainer. Additionally, they seem to want to avoid being seen. They do this by, tele by utilizing Uranium's teleportation power, Quantum Leap. However, each time they use this ability, a faint radioactive trace gets left behind. I follow these traces. I secretly track them across the region for months. The fact that everyone thought I was dead made it easier to stay undercover. I can only imagine how worried Theo must be. But as much as I care about my son, protecting Tandor is more important. Oh jeez, that's kind of a... So you just let us think that you were dead? How could you, Dad? I was devastated. I mean... I knew it was because you had secret agent stuff to do, but you could have at least sent a sign. Anything. Yes, losing Cameron was hard on all of us, especially you, Theo. But while he was missing, he was secretly tracking Curie. 
This information might allow us to finally capture them and put a stop to all of this. At last, they seem to settle down in the ruins of power plant Zeta, north of Venova. It's remote, and the radiation keeps intruders away. There is a large stockpile of nuclear fuel there, but it's not enough to last them forever. Eventually, they will run out, and they will be forced to move in search of more fuel. The only remaining stash of uranium is in East Tender. That is where they will move next. I believe it is time for me to make my move. I shall anonymously alert the rangers before the attack, and have the nuclear fuel relocated elsewhere. Should Urane get a hold of me or more fuel, it may be able to reach its fully realized form, a Pokemon with unlimited destructive power. I must do whatever it takes to prevent that. The rangers will set a trap for Urane and Kirin at Power Plant Omicron. There, they will be forced to reveal themselves. If they manage to escape, they will flee to Power Plant Zeta again. In that case, I will join the rangers and confront them there. I must bring them to justice, for mine and everyone's sake. Cameron, Storm Ranger. So, that's the end of the letter. Yes, that's it, although it's not all the Cam left us. He seems to have quite a lot of data gathered about Kyrie and Yuri. Files detailing their abilities, weaknesses. He seems fairly fixated on it. You're no stranger to that, though, are you, Kelly? <coughs> that aside, Cameron's information may provide to be invaluable. Included was a tracking signal. Apparently during the battle with Kyrie and Yuri, he managed to attach a small geolocator to them. My rangers are scanning for their frequency now. And it seems they found it. Boss, we traced the tracking signal. It's coming from the west, just like you said. It seems to be originating from deep within the Venoma hazard zone. So Cam was right. They are inside the power plant Zeta. Are the hazard suits prepared? Ready to deploy, sir. That's good news. This time the rangers will have the advantage. We will track down those criminals and stop them. I wish I could leave this mission, but... Inferno. Normally there is an oath and a ceremony, but time is of the essence, so I'll get right to the point. I'm promoting you to full ranger status. I want you to lead this mission in my steel. I know that you can do it. You've overcome every challenge in your path. You have all eight badges now. You've become a strong, brave, independent person. I just want you to know, I'm so proud of you, Inferno. I couldn't have asked for a better child. I just wish I'd been a better father. I hope that I can make it up to you someday. After all this is done, dude, don't don't die, don't die. <laughs> I'm so happy that it's alive. I n never want to leave them again. But also, I gotta make this curie person pay for what they did. Kelly, I want to be a ranger too. Of course, Theo, you can get a promotion for this mission. The more strong trainers we have, the better chance at taking down curie. I'll stay here at HQ and provide backup. We'll monitor your position remotely, Professor. We need you at the laboratory. Of course. We're close to a break tomorrow to cure, I just know it. Hey Inferno, we get to be rangers. That's awesome, isn't it? You two have more power than proving yourselves. Theo, your actions in standing up to cure your work. Well, it was foolhardy, but your bravery is admirable. Hey, give it a rest. I just found out Dad was alive and he was in trouble. I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. Dad, I'll make sure your sacrifice was worthwhile. And when you finally wake up, I'll be there to tell you that you hope save Tandor. A squad of rangers is waiting on the western dock on Route 07. There, you will take a boat across the lake and all the way to Route 08, the wheat fields. The area is designated the hazard zone. You will need protective gear. Fortunately, our researchers have developed the hazard suit, which will protect you from radiation. At the far side of that route is a road leading to Power Plant Zeta. The tracking signal is coming from deep inside the plant. You will need to come prepared. We don't know what to expect. Oh jeez, that is very... This was a very exposition heavy episode. A lot of story too. This is it. We're in the end game now. Okay, well. I've talked for 40 minutes, practically. And I think that this is a better time than any to save the episode. Now, next time... I guess we're gonna go save the Tanner region next time. We'll travel across the lake and head to Route 8. Then head north to Nuclear Plant Zeta, where we'll fight Curie and Urane. I am terrified for my Pokemon. I do not know how I would 
for starters, be able to, you know, train them. Well, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, I guess. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.